Managing your files efficiently is a skill that will very quickly become second nature when producing digital work. Without building a systemic workflow and creating a standard naming convention for your files, you may find locating crucial files becomes very difficult when you're under the stress and pressure of a hand-in. It's also advisable to create copies of unfinished projects and store backup copies of them on a separate drive. Files can corrupt for many reasons, most beyond your control. Having the safety net of another copy, or an incremental version, will save you time and stress, especially if the work would have needed to be created again from scratch. A physical storage device is one that you can plug into your computer and add files through drag and drop or through iTunes. A USB stick, flash drive or pen drive is the smallest type of physical storage and can hold from 2GB to 32GB or more. Flash drives are useful for temporary storage or transferring files, but do not have enough power for you to work directly from them. Always transfer working or video files to your system first. USB hard drives or external drives can be powered by USB or by an external power supply and can have more space, life expectancy and power than a USB stick. Most have a capacity of 300 gig up to 2 terabytes. These are perfect for backup files and they can also be worked from. There are also different port speeds for these drives. That means that the rate of transferring data between your computer and the drive can be faster or slower depending on the version. Without going into great detail, USB 3 is currently the fastest and most affordable for personal computers. Your H drive, or the drive associated with your student ID at Massey, is part of a network storage system and can be useful for temporarily hosting work. This drive can be accessed from any computer on the Massey campus, but not from your personal machine. The data transfer of H drive runs from the computer up to Palmerston North, then back again, making it a little too slow to work from. The physical hard drive of your computer you're working from is called the local drive. On a PC it might be your D drive or your Macintosh HD drive on your Mac. This is the most stable platform for files when working on the Massey Lab computers and usually on your own computer as well. There are also a number of online options. In Dropbox, files are stored online and can be easily shared. Files can be synced via clients downloaded onto your computer or devices. It's like working from a USB, but with your files stored in a cloud on the internet. The downsides are that there is a limit to space, and more must be earned or purchased on a plan. There are also various other cloud-based services for online storage, all with their benefits and disadvantages, so it would pay to investigate the best options for you. Google Drive works in a similar manner to Dropbox, only it is more convenient for smaller files. Drive also has a number of internal programs that echo Microsoft Office, allowing you to easily create, edit and share Word files, spreadsheets, presentations and more. The Optimum Workflow No matter what you intend to do with your work once it's complete, it's always best to work from the most stable platform than make a number of backup copies to other storage devices for both transportation and peace of mind. Collaborative projects could also be made easier using Google Drive to help organise your team. Naming conventions. Naming your files can become an art in itself, especially when you're under the pressure of an assignment hand-in. But as stressed as you might be, it is always best to stick to a file naming system that allows you to locate your work quickly and effortlessly. Keep your file names short and descriptive. Using camel case or underscores is a good practice as it allows for greater readability across multiple platforms. Start with version 1 and save increments of that version until something changes significantly enough for you to update the name. Most assignments will also have a specific naming convention for the hand-in of your work files, so be sure to take note of this before saving out your final work. This is good practice for future projects as some clients may not be as forgiving when they're handed a finished piece with an arbitrary or unexpected file name.